Welcome to my channel, Notorious Crafts. In this video, I will show you how you can make this set of miniature jars that are perfect for dollhouses, dioramas, Barbie dolls, or any other kind of miniature scale projects. And here are the supplies that I am using. I am using some UV resin, and I got this one because it says it's non-yellowing. And many projects that I've made in the past with resin have turned yellow, so this was really important for me to buy one that was non-yellowing. It's also a hard type, so after it cures, the resin will be hard. I also ended up buying a UV flashlight so that I could quickly cure my projects. And then I realized I didn't have batteries for it. So I'm going to have to use my other UV light. But here's the first mold that I am using. These ones are hexagon jars. I thought they'd be really cute with a the hexagon design. And then I also have this set of three jars in different sizes. These are cylindrical, just smooth on all sides. And then I have this really small one that has a lid and some designs on the side. And I also have this bottle with a really thin tip where I'll pour resin to, and I hope that this will help prevent some bubbles from forming in the resin. One of the first things that you want to do is wash your silicone molds with some soap and water and make sure that there is no dust or anything inside of them because that will show up in the resin. I had already washed mine earlier and let them dry so that there wouldn't be any water inside. I poured the resin directly from the bottle inside of the mold and after each squeeze I let the resin fall to the bottom and you want to do this slowly so that you don't form any air bubbles. And if there are any air bubbles forming, try to pop them right away. If you find that some air bubbles have formed, just continue tapping the mold against a hard surface to try to remove some of the air bubbles. You can also let the mold sit for a while until the air bubbles come up to the top. I use my really thin nozzle to pour in some of the resin into the molds that will be the lids. I found that these really thin, almost needle-like nozzles are really great for really small areas of getting resin into. After about an hour or two of letting the resin sit inside the mold, many of the air bubbles came up to the top, so I just grabbed a toothpick and scooped the air bubbles out. And now that all of the air bubbles are removed, these molds are ready to go underneath a UV light to cure and so that they can harden. And now my jars are ready to take out of the mold. Here's the smallest jar. It is so cute. There's not a single air bubble and I'm really happy with how this turned out. The jars are also perfectly see-through. I did not add any dyes or pigment into the molds. That is something you can do. I haven't tried it before. Next up, I'm removing the medium sized jar and it turned out perfectly, no air bubbles. I am really impressed with these molds. They turned out so nice. And I'll also remove one of the lids. I really hope that these will fit. I'm a little bit nervous that they might not fit over the jars, but it looks like it fits perfectly. It fits like a glove and it doesn't easily come off. So it's on there pretty nice and sturdy. So I don't have to worry about the lid falling off. I do think that these jars would look really cool if I made them in different colors. So next time I'll probably add some resin dye to them and make a whole array of different colors of them. And now I'm removing the tallest jar out of the set of three. It looks like an air bubble got caught at the very top of the jar. So that was technically at the very bottom of the mold. So I did not catch that air bubble this time around. Luckily, that air bubble can be easily hidden with a lid. So you can't even see that the air bubble exists in the jar. Next, I'm making the jars that have a really pretty design. And for these, I am using my bottle with the really thin nozzle to get into some of the more finer details. I also put them under a UV light so that they can cure and harden. And here is how the jar looks when I take it out of the mold. I love the ridges on the side, but I am noticing some really small air bubbles on the sides. 
Next, I'm removing the lids from the molds and look at this really fine detail. I'm really amazed at how the details turn out with the resin. The lid is also a perfect fit over the jar and it's nice and secure over the top of it. Next up, I'm going to make the hexagon jars. This mold set comes with six different pieces. So two of them are the sides, then there's the middle, there's also the bottom, and then two pieces for the lids. I'm not fully sure how this is supposed to work. I think these side pieces go over like this. I think I'm supposed to put the resin in the middle first and then place it over that middle piece. After doing a little research, I realized that I'm supposed to put the two sides together first, then pour the resin in. So when I put these together, there are some gaps at the bottom and I'm gonna tie that with a rubber band so that the two pieces are stuck together nice and tightly and so that the resin doesn't come out on the sides. I'm using just a regular rubber band and tying it around twice. I don't want it too tight so it ends up distorting the shape. Next, I'm ready to start pouring the resin in. What I don't like about these molds is that I don't know how much resin I need, so I'm just gonna guess for this first time. And now I'm ready to insert the middle piece and this will create the hole inside of the jar. And you can see the resin starts coming up towards the top as I start pushing it deeper inside. I quickly placed it under UV light because the resin started coming out from all sides, so I wanted it to cure as fast as possible. While the hexagon jars were curing, I decided to start making the bottom and the lids. The bottom of the jar was easy. I just poured the resin into the mold and then that was ready to cure. And now I'm going to make the lids for the hexagon jars. And just like the bottles, the lid mold is in two pieces, so I'm not sure how much resin I need for this, so I'm gonna guess for this first one. And as I started squeezing these to get some of the air pockets out, lots of resin started coming up from the sides, so I tried to put a rubber band over it and put it underneath my UV light as fast as possible to cure and harden. And let's take these hexagon jars out of the mold and hopefully they turned out okay. I am a little bit nervous about these ones, so I have to take out this middle piece, but it looks like there's a lot of extra resin on the sides and I'm gonna have to cut that off. It doesn't look like there's many holes or air pockets. I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife to cut off some of this extra resin. So far, I'm not too happy with this mold I wasn't sure how much resin I needed and I ended up pouring way too much resin than I needed at least the bottoms turned out really nice that was a really easy mold to use but it looks like it's a little bit too small for the bottom of the jar and let's see how these lids turned out and I can already tell there's a bunch of air pockets I really don't like this this turned out terrible. It does not look like a lid. I both had too much resin, but yet not enough. I, I just don't understand. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. If any of you guys have some advice, can you let me know that down below in the comments? These hexagon jars just did not work for me. I had to cut off a lot of the extra resin from the sides using an X-Acto knife, and my lids just turned out terrible. I can't even use them. I ended up trying to make them six times and every time I failed. So hopefully you guys have something to share with me as well as everyone in this community. Next, I attempted to attach the bottom of the jar since there's both a hole at the top and at the bottom. So I noticed that these bottoms are way too small. I'm not sure why that is. So I'm just gonna add some resin around the edges and cure that with the bottom. I'm adding the resin onto the bottom piece on top of my silicone mold since I don't want it to stick to my surface once it is hardened. And then I place the jar on top and then let it cure under the UV light. And here's how it turned out. It's not too bad. I still don't have a lid, but overall it's, it's fine. I'm not too happy with these hexagon jars, 
but it was a good learning experience for me. I did try making a few more hexagon jars, but they were again a total fail. I ended up not adding enough resin and ended up with a whole bunch of holes on the sides of these. This was a good lesson for me not to buy any molds that are in multiple pieces where you have to put them together. And here's how all of the jars look side by side. I think my favorite are the ones in the middle, just the plain, simple, cylindrical ones. They turned out perfect. I absolutely love those molds. Those are the types of molds that I'm going to buy from now on. I am also really happy with how this small one with a lot of detail and the ridges on the sides turned out. It did have a couple air bubbles, but it's not noticeable with the ridges on the side. I also like how the lid is a perfect fit. I'm just not happy with those hexagon jars. Those molds were absolutely terrible to work with. But let me know your comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.